my advisor always told me that nature reveals her secrets in her extreme forms. They're a treasure trove for any fish biologist. The ocean sunfish is one of the world's most mysterious creatures. And now there's a new book dedicated to this bizarre family. Today, we're going to be speaking to lead author, Dr. Tierney Tees, and we're going to learn all about it. Well, this is everything you ever wanted to know about the sunfish and more. <laughs> you never knew there was so much to know about sunfish. <laughs> so in a nutshell, could you describe the ocean sunfish and why they're important for us to study? How does one describe the ocean sunfish? They look like just a big head that's missing a tail. A big head with these long fins attached. So they kind of swim like they're a, a turtle on its side, you know, swimming like this. Um, and it doesn't have the big intrigue like um, sharks do. They don't have big teeth that, that um, terrify people. You're not going to have Sunfish Week on television, you know, um, or you maybe you will after the book comes out. <laughs> um, any aspect you look at, they've they have some amazing feature about them. They're the world's heaviest bony fish, getting to be over 5,000 pounds. They're related to pufferfish and porcupine fish, and that's how you can sort of understand their morphology is that they just look like a big a big puffer fish that's moved out into the open ocean. And they occupy a really important part of the ocean food web. They're on the bucket list of divers across the world. Um, people love to swim with these strangely shaped sea monsters of the deep. They're important that way. They can actually bring in a lot of tourism dollars. So can you give us a brief overview of the book and some of the topics that it covers? Um, we start the book out with a foreword by Julie Packard, the director of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. She sets us off on our journey. And then we look at the evolution, diet, foraging, locomotion, anatomy, how many species are there? Where do they travel? Are they subject to biotoxins or microplastics? What's up with their parasites? Their parasites can tell a huge story. And of course their larval development too. They make some of the most incredibly adorable and ridiculous looking larvae. We have commissioned some original artwork of their amazing little porcupine larvae, the ontogenetic sequences. They're a difficult animal to display for aquariums, but we have a whole chapter on how you would go about doing that. Another really important chapter is on fisheries. Sunfish make up a huge part of the bycatch in many drift gillnet fisheries and we need to understand this group of fishes before we take them all out. And we also look at sunfish and culture. There's, um, you know, sunfish has been mentioned back at the times of Pliny the Elder and, and also by the Japanese shoguns as a tax payment. A really important chapter is looking at the, the remaining questions because a big reason for doing the book was to just gather everything we know about these amazing groups of fishes so it's a great resource, I think, for, for future sunfish researchers and for current sunfish researchers <laughs> and for anyone interested in sunfish. <laughs> and finally, the question on everyone's lips, when is the book out and where can I find a copy? It's coming out right before Christmas, so it could be that perfect Christmas present. Um, it's available for pre-order on Amazon. Um, I believe it's being published December 11th and you can get it on the publisher's website CRC Press, as well as I have a flyer on oceansunfish.org. I would just love to thank all the people who contributed. Particularly my co-editors, Jonathan Houghton and Graham Haynes. It takes an army to put together a book like this, and it's truly been a labor of love. There are representatives from a dozen countries that are, that are in the book. So it's a real global collaboration for a global fish that occurs in every tropical and temperate ocean, from north of the Arctic Circle to below South Africa and everywhere in between. It's superlative on every front and well worth reading about. <laughs>